This week's episode of the Deck Chair Gnomes podcast brought to you by Mickey's Mittens. <laughs> Do you have sore asses? Are you in fucking agony but you can't afford to buy bandages? Cut two holes in a sock. Mickey's Mittens. Play the intro. Yeah, what's up, yeah, yeah, what's up, motherfuckers? You're all very welcome back to another episode of the Deck Chair Yums podcast. For those of you who are on Patreon and can see the video, we've got a new fucking studio. New studio, baby. Fucking sexy. We've got swingy bar stool chairs. My feet don't really touch the ground anymore, and I like it. <laughs> so you're very welcome to another episode of the podcast with Yums, a.k.a. Connor Keys, and Deck Chair, a.k.a. Padre Pio. <laughs> Oh, come if you need, on. If you've anybody in hospital with the COVID, come around to my house. I lend you these here. You can wipe their chest with my fucking bandages. If there was ever... Do you uh, the world of good? Do you know? Do you but no harm anyway? When medicine fails, always turn to religion. <laughs> if there was a worthwhile was uh, reason to get the Patreon, it's to see your wee crippled hands. Man, I'm not going to lie to you. They're my hands are aching, right? Well, they're not really... They're not really sore now. So why, for anybody listening to the last week's podcast, you know I had a fucking wild bad psoriasis. And it was on the mend a wee bit. It was. And then I made a mistake of going out for a pint <coughs> on Saturday night. And it came back with a vengeance. I put my phone in airplane mode because my phone's broke because I can't answer because it it's too much moisturiser. So I had to do a thing now that it answers itself just so I could get a call from the doctor. <laughs> and now I'm t- every time I'm talking, I'm going, fuck am I? Can't slabber with anybody in case the phone went. Uh, where was I? So you were here in our new studio. Yes, we're in the new studio. Thank I, you too. I'm keeping this Basically, hat on. it's because of our patrons. Yeah. So thank you very much. I should say as well, have. I'm keeping this hat on uh, purely because I can't put gel on my hair because my hands don't work. So I have to wear a wee beanie. <laughs> I know. Well, right, this looks bad. Our new studio does have heating. It's I, just, I, I either <laughs> look like, like I either look like I'm going to train for a fight, or I've got very bad news. In the last <laughs> <laughs> like, it's either fuck is Mickey fighting, or he's going to meet John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> Or you get a fucking extra roll in uh, dope sick. Uh, I'm in tatters. <laughs> I'm in fucking tatters. So here's a, a, another quick update. I suppose Do you want to update Mr. Asses? Of course we would. That's what we're here for. So took a feed of pints on Saturday, right? Uh-huh. So I went for a food allergy test. Sorry, there's loads to tell. I didn't mention last week I could give medication by the hospital. Tell you that? No. You didn't. Well, you told me you didn't tell. All right. Uh, so our listeners, I got I got given meds in the hospital, and if you remember what it was said about being deaf and going easy, easy, right? <laughs> I um, got antibiotics off the doctor, and I was like, right, I don't want to really take antibiotics and these crazy psoriasis drugs because I don't know what the crack is, right? So I googled the psoriasis drugs. Don't, never google, if you're feeling sick, see even if you think you're dying, just die, right? Don't google it because Google will tell you you're way worse, right? (laughs) So I googled this stuff and it's like, I'm I'm not even joking, it was like uh, you go bald, your liver falls out your asshole, don't get anybody pregnant because the baby's going to be deformed. (laughs) I can't donate blood for three years. What? After they've taken these meds, because in case a pregnant woman gets them, because it can cause fetal deformities, right? Which is a nightmare, because I love giving blood. Fuck, I was never done. <sighs> Times I'd be walking about only one pint in me, and then I'd go and give blood. Uh, just for the bike. Just for the crack. <laughs> that's, that's my nights out now in my 30s. A couple of pints, boys. I'll give blood for the crack. We'll, we'll, get, some, we'll get some teetotaler blocked. Or he's using vacation. Uh, I'm not going out here. Get a feed of fucking soup and all. Uh, a wee bourbon cream. Aye. Oh, well worth it. Well worth it. So basically what happened was the antibiotics kicked in. My psoriasis started to clear up. I was able to do the podcast last week. And that's I right. thought, now it's under control. I'll not take those fucking mad baby deforming drugs. Because it seems to be a bit better. So right? you said you'd take what? Harp? Yeah. Well, <laughs> so I went for a food allergy test, right? Uh-huh. So it turns out I'm allergic to gluten, dairy, and caffeine, right? So at least now, if my psoriasis gets real bad, I can kill myself by eating a big feed of toast. <laughs> Go to find me fucking lying dead with a suicide note written in alphabetic spaghetti. Fucking <laughs> 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 or even just normal spaghetti, but do it in cursive, right? Oh. <laughs> But you're gonna you're you're yeah you know, you're gonna be a cunt now, aren't you? Man, this is the thing. Are you so going the, vegan? No, because the doctor did the allergy test. Went, I guess she goes, you're allergic to gluten. Then we just double check all these, and she went, you're not allergic to beer or barley or rye. It's just wheat. So she was like, so you can still drink beer. And I was like, I'm about to give you a blowjob. <laughs> I assume you have a penis because and, I didn't want to assume your gender. So you might or you might not. I, it's twenty twenty one. And was this your then uh, the the motivation to go for pints then? No, I just felt a bit can better. The and, workers, yeah, no? me and my missus were like, do you want to go out for something date? And then I was like, fuck, I'll go for it. But your missus hasn't seen daylight for fucking a month. God love her, like creator hasn't complained either. <laughs> uh, but um, so yeah, I went for a few pints, and then I woke up on Sunday morning like, <laughs> <laughs> like. In agony. We got the message. Folks, yeah. yeah, Monday is not happening. Boys just can't, can't, couldn't get a, my foot left foot swole up, couldn't get a fucking shoe on. Then eventually, right, I was like, I want to take these fucking scary pills. Eventually got talking to my GP. Shout out to Dr. Kelly, fucking good guy. What he up? talked to me for about fifteen minutes about like, listen, 
you'll be dead on. He was like, you're only on them for six weeks. <laughs> It'll not do that much damage. Just batter them into you. And then, fair enough, took them for three or four days. It's gotten better. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> But it looks awful. Like it. This is the shittiest bit. So what happens is the type I have. Do you it, remember the boy in Robocop just when he fell into the toxic I swear waste? to fuck, that's what I feel. Like. I swear to fuck. I actually feel like Alex Murphy. Like someone's going like, we can only save the left arm. <laughs> like, but uh, that was yeah. So it's like it, you, I woke up Sunday morning and it was blisters. So there's pus coming in my hands and mm. thing, which is gross. A couple of days in the meds, what happens is all the skin comes off like sunburn. So right. it's back to I take a sock off and I'm like, oh crippies. <laughs> um, I. <laughs> I don't know if you want to see it. Do you want to see a photo of my living room floor? Uh, I don't know. Here, you showed me fucking Ruby was shite. <laughs> you did with this. You see. Hang on. I'm not, I'm not putting this online. Uh, just bear with me. Cause the things me. we do for our patrons. Like that. <sighs> that's, that's just off my hands. Right? Do you know how I discussed this last night? <laughs> I had an itchy nose and I put my finger up my nose and there was something on my finger and I went, I don't know if that's from my nose stop. or from my hand. Fucking stop. <laughs> stop. I'm like, I'm not confident about where that came from. <clears throat> so it's like, I don't know whether to chew it or throw it away. Oh, you fucking <laughs> bastard. <laughs> you dirty rotten Mickey bastard. the walking snow globe Bartlett. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> well, I wish it could be Christmas on my skin. <laughs> Girlfriend put the Christmas tree up and the letter do it by herself. Nightmare. <laughs> That's all bad. I'd love to, but I can't. I can't do dishes. <laughs> Snow is falling. Right. Oh, it's Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey's here now. It's a fucking. Oh. Dis- and then uh, this is now. This is going to depress you, but hopefully it makes well, you laugh. Was, was right. To, all right. Okay. Right. Fuck. Almost cried. Right. Uh-huh. So what day is today? This is Thursday. Uh huh. Tuesday. Yeah, it must be Tuesday. So you missed me. That's what's wrong. That's what was, but I was going to do some messages, right? Mm-hmm. And I was like, right, I've got a plan here. Because what happens is when your hands are that bad, you go to paper stuff. People recoil in horror, right? <laughs> and you don't want to be like, it's only psoriasis because they're not going to believe you because no. it looks like leprosy, right? So I was like, right, here's my game plan. I have to go over to the Rushmere Shopping Centre. I'll go into Tesco's and Lurgan. Mm-hmm. I'll buy a pair of gloves. Go to the self checkout. Nobody's going to see my fucking weird hands, right? Yeah, yeah. Get my gloves on, walk about like a normal person, blending into society. Right? Right. Do you know what I mean? Just becoming like a normie. Uh-huh. Right? One of the 97% of people who don't have fucking this shit, right? So, when the Tesco's couldn't find, like, was looking through all the wee sort of sets of gloves. I was like, I'm not going to buy just normal, well, no, like, like, gloves like, like polyester yeah. gloves or whatever. Because yeah. I'm like, that's going to catch and feel weird. Yeah. I'll get a pair of like good fucking like big. All the snow ones? Yeah, big snow ones, yeah, right? Okay. With like a nice soft inside. Just got them, paid from the checkout. Walked outside, got to my car, realized the security tag was still on them, oh. right? So I had to fucking hobble back in, right? Show a wee dude, and the guy's like, oh, you make your boy. I'm like, shut the fuck up and take this thing off. <laughs> Took the wee thing off, went back to my car. As I'm walking to the car, I'm trying to get the wee tag off, right? But the cardboard keeps digging into my fucking hand, right? So I'm like, ah, 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 fuck, constantly trying to do this thing. Eventually broke them up, went to put the fucking hand in the glove, realized my hands were so swollen they couldn't fit in the glove, right? So I'm in my car like fucking Johnny Cochran and OJ. <laughs> If the glove does not fit, you must have quit, right? And then I nearly started crying. Not because my, like I felt bad about myself, because there was nobody there to laugh at the OJ bit. <laughs> <laughs> I was more annoyed I couldn't go, huh? Hey, <laughs> going, <laughs> fuck, I stayed at me. <laughs> if the glove does not fit, you must have quit. Uh, so that's me fucking uh, on the, on the uh, immunosuppressants. <laughs> can't go outside, can't drink, can't eat fucking bread. But here, how are you all doing? <laughs> Oh, you ready to hear some jokes? But we've a new studio. That's, we've that's got a new studio. studio yeah. Gentlemen, yeah. Uh, so we're, we're moving up in the world. The aesthetic of deck chair and will be changing. Yes. Uh, we're going through a transition. Exactly, yes. Yeah. Now, obviously, we're not cha- I'm changing more than the studio because I currently <laughs> look like one of the Pompeii victims in modern day. That's how I look. Uh, I will say this much. <coughs> no, sharing too. Mm. Go on ahead. You may start. You started. You may go on. Well, I was eventually able to make love, right? For the first time in about six weeks. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And I'll tell you this now: the load that came out of me, Connor Keys, <laughs> was the only thing wet in my body, and <laughs> it, it was it was a joy to be brought back to my twenties. I don't know if this has happened to you, but I remember my twenties. A load was an impressive load. Right? Yes. Yes. I'm mid thirties. Not that impressive anymore. Do you know what I mean? No, no, because in your mid thirties, you're not letting it build up. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So yeah. in my, like, I remember in my twenties, I would take a condom off and they'd be weighted. Oh, Jesus. You go, Jesus oh, fucking oh, hell. Oh. You're like, you're walking about the house like a man that's caught a trout. Oh. <laughs> It's just a bit of condensation. I, decide, I, I, I guess the point in your thirties and you take a condom off, it's just like taking off sunburn. You're like, oh, <laughs> fucking. 
But I took this, I swear to God, I lay this thing down the floor, got knelt beside it like it shot a deer. So I'll take a photo of that pit. <laughs> like a hunter. And, uh, <laughs> so, I mean. And didn't take long either. I was just going to say, I didn't want to get into the detail of it, but I, I assume with the, the, the longevity of the gap, uh-huh. no, no pun intended, mm-hmm. that, that, that it was a four stroke oil. Basically, what happened, was, <laughs> what happened was, I goes, pet, I'm going to put a condom on, show me a tit, and then. <laughs> And then I'll take the condom back off. I'll take a photograph of that now. Yeah. So it's <laughs> that just like, they're condom. lovely. Oh, there we are. Fucking needed that. <laughs> right enough. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been a long... It was, a, it, was a, it was an impressive yield. It was a... Uh, Unvaccinated too, so you can sell it. <laughs> <laughs> monk-like. Uh, in, in, in monk fit, yeah. In, yeah, in, monk-like, yeah. <laughs> as in living in a monastery, yeah. you've been this yeah, last Yeah, it was monk-like so. because I came so quick, I had to go, um... <laughs> Oh, I'm thinking something. Take, um, that, take that tonic wine there, doctor. <laughs> Why do you make fucking... When sample them grapes, I clean this up. Uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that's been my week. That's been fabulous. Um, Can you we, um, we, are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> that's not like the people are like... I don't even get a grant for this. Like, I know. Get, like, people are like, are you able to function? I'm like, no. I can't cook. I can't fucking... Can't I'll, take a lid off a cup of coffee. Can't take a lid off a cup of coffee. I have to hold my toothbrush in a way that reminds you of Voldemort with a wand. I'm all... <laughs> Because I can't put any leverage in my thumbs. And uh, all this electrics with an open coffee lid with somebody who can't hold it. That's right. going to be fine. That's, that's no ow, 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 ow. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, thank you to every, all our patrons. Um, I mean, we, we are trying to change things up a bit and we're trying to jizz it up. So we got a lot of people yesterday <laughs> after... <it> <laughs> Yesterday after the uh, Spotify, thank you to everybody who... Yeah, we're fucking on number one on a lot of people's Spotify. And even, we're top five, and it's, which is... I know some people don't even like to be included. They were like, if I'm number, if I'm not number one, I'm, I'm last. <laughs> St. Gettys didn't. St. Gettys was like, I'm, fucking not, I'm not in the don't top of the list. Yeah. Top don't be, and then I was like, look, we man, were we've been happy to be. <laughs> we were more than happy to be in any list. Uh, take out general mother. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, That's why he yeah, fucking came but so I think, hard. I think also we're the kind of people as well just to be nominated is an honour. Uh, genuinely, you I swear to God, yeah. I mean, yeah. to be in the top five, I mean, whenever you said to me first, do you want to do a podcast? I was like, aye. But never thought. Well, number one, we didn't think it was last five, more than five yeah, weeks. Exactly. But to get in the top five of people's listenership, and and the, some of the, the people we're in company with. Yeah, I think we, I remember the, like somebody we beat Joe Rogan. Yeah. Some place. I was like, what? Well, fuck. Take that, Rogan. And his is three hours fucking long. I so grab I mean, your DMT up your holy cage fighting fuck. <laughs> I'll take you on. I'll fight man. <laughs> da, da, da. I'd love to meet Joe Rogan. If this is really bad, can I meet Joe Rogan? You should be. Yeah. <laughs> I right enough. Make a well, wish. Well, Joe, thing. listen, I'm not well. Can I do your podcast? I'll do it over Zoom. <laughs> Well, Joseph, are you getting on? What do you get at the Spotify? Tell the truth. What do you get? What do you get? What do you get? What are we on you now? Uh, tell the truth. Do you still carry kiosk, do you? Oh. Do you have a... Does he have somebody like Snoop? Does he employ somebody to roll joints for him? I don't know. Snoop has somebody that rolls joints Does he? For him. That's his, yeah. That's, he employs somebody to roll joints. Shit. Who's the guy that hangs about with Snoop? Is it, a, tour, is it his maybe? uncle? That goes on tour with him and just stands on the stage drinking a big cup of gin juice. <laughs> Come in, he looks like a really old Snoop. I remember seeing him at Oxygen being all, who's the old fella that looks exactly like Snoop? And that's not a racial thing. Um, <laughs> with the same bone structure and all. Yeah. Like a wee skinny face. And he's like, you know. Just look like a dog. Yeah, sticky, yicky, yicky. <laughs> that's not even Snoop, is it? That's ludicrous. Yeah, that is, huh? It's a Snoop. Sticky, Fucking yeah, yeah. Put it in the air. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, da, 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 da. That's Snoop as well, isn't it? Yeah. Fucking, I, I may as well be black. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Snoop Speaking of, of, of fighting and uh, Rocky Four director's cut, have you seen it? What? There's a director's cut of Rocky Four? Where have you been? Get in the name of fuck out of my fucking face. Where, Where have you been? In the house picking scabs off my feet. Well, you missed the big release of Rocky Four, the, the ultimate director's mm-hmm. cut. With I think we've already talked about a big release. Thank you. Hey, with a uh, load of new footage and all, a load of new... Is this the one where like it, Dolph Lundgren goes into the bar at the end and he's like, don't blush, don't blush now, no, you have to scratch Russia. And he's like, Bluh. no, is there more to it? No. Uh, they took out all the robot shit and took out all the... You know, remember Polly had a robot? Oh, that, that was all, class. That was fucking dumb. I love that bit. Uh, yeah. It's very, when he sexies it's, up the voice and all? It, uh, it's down to 90s and minutes or something. It's very, very like, and it's unreal, but it looks fucking amazing. The thing about Rocky IV is, and I'm, don't, I don't care what you, there's nothing wrong with it. I personally, I feel the weakest Rocky. Hmm. Rocky V, obviously. Well, yeah. Right? And then it's Rocky Three is weak. Weak, but nostalgic. I loved it because I was a child when I watched See, it. See, I think that's Mr. Rocky, e that's Rocky IV that is my. Right, that's yours. Do you know what I mean? Because okay. Rocky IV to me is the, the sort of essential 80s. Right, yes. Like, 
but it didn't have Hulk Hogan or Mr. T, so it doesn't count. Aye, but it did have Dolph Lundgren putting Sylvester Stallone in the actual hospital during the making of it. Do you know that? No. Dolph Lundgren, because Dolph Lundgren was a black belt in karate, right? right? And Sly's all big into like fucking, yeah, you fucking hit me. Yeah. And Dolph Lundgren, as far as I know, punched him in the chest and it momentarily dislodged his heart. <laughs> <laughs> and he genuinely had to go to the hospital for a couple of days. Fucking hell. Uh, well, in fairness, Dolphin I hit me would be. It'd be you'd feel it. You'd fucking you'd right. You would I actually watched Universal Soldier the other night. Uh, oh, that's years. one that's one thing now, um so obviously we're going to record just rabbit on a bit, and it's been a big week. Mm-hmm. But I haven't read a fucking thing because I've been going right. I can uh, I can use the controller for this long before it gets too slippy. <laughs> I like that. We'll put that on. Um, that was universe. So this is the movies I watched yesterday, right? Uh-huh. And it's, it's, it's tired of being sick. Why? I watched Universal Soldier, right? But then I fell asleep, and then I had to watch the game because uh, I had I just took a wee nap. <laughs> um, I watched American Psycho. Mm-hmm. I need to talk to you about that in a wee okay. second. Mm-hmm. Uh, I watched the Last Duel. Have you seen that? The Ridley Scott movie that everybody... Not yet, like, no. Fucking brilliant. Is it? So, okay. it, Ridley Scott... Because you know Ridley Scott's got a wee bit fucking angry in his old age? Oh, So he was given off that nobody saw his movie. Right. Because of fucking superhero movies and Disney Plus and yes, people yes. aren't going to cinemas and blah, blah, blah. A lot of people are saying the reason they didn't go see it is because Ben Affleck has a really bad blonde beard and wig situation going on, right? Because it's all, all right. set in medieval times. Right, okay. And Ben Affleck looks like... Jedward's da is the only way I could describe it. <laughs> right. But so it's Ben Affleck, Matt Damon, Adam Driver, and uh, Jodie Comer, mm-hmm. who's my, my new. She's on the list. She's on last week's list, is she? She's beautiful. Mm. She is beautiful. And in medieval I'm, garb, talking all oh. forsooth. I'm like, fucking right, you girl. I don't know her now. I have to go and check that out. <laughs> she's beautiful. Be- just and beautiful, but like the girl next door to me. Like she, you, you look at Jodie Comer on screen, and you don't go, wow. Do the way you do with like Angelina Jolie or Scarlett mm. Johansson. But she's very beautiful. Anyway, fucking great movie. Genuinely a fucking brilliant movie. Adam Driver, I would follow to the end of the earth. I think he's the best actor in the world. Discuss. Very good. Saw a video this morning of Al Pacino talking about how good Adam Adam Driver is. And Al Pacino was going, I don't know how he does it. Driver is unreal. He's phenomenal. Bad looking hurdy. Bad looking bastard. And here, have you you ever seen the photo of him in the Marines with short hair? No. Big early ears. Big early ears. He's like Prince Charles. Fair play, well, at least the acting got him somewhere. Aye, yeah, fair play. they're long hair got him somewhere, but, but he's fantastic. <laughs> he is, I think that scene in Marriage Story. I still haven't watched that yet. Fucking you know class. Time, what's going to take it's, do you know what? It's not great, but he's amazing. Right. Like, he's so good at It's the same reason it's like watching the Star Wars sequels. Yeah. You're like, Adam Driver's so good, I'll, I'll sit through these. Or I'll fast forward through all the other bits. And, and he, then like, Adam Driver. he came from somewhere like TV, didn't he? Was, was he originally? I don't no. know. Was he in... Was it like Gossip Girl or Girl or what? There yeah, some something. something. He was in, that's where he first got Yes, was he yeah. not in that show with, what do you call that doll who's like a big mad feminist? Keeps getting in trouble for saying things that are so feminist, even feminists are like, would you shut the fuck up? Oh, right. Uh, I don't know. Don't know what her name is. Um, but yeah. Is it uh, Girls or something like that? Yeah, Girls. Girls, okay. Girls. <laughs> Look at that there. Cuddies. Hey, hey Cuddies. <laughs> Dolls. <laughs> Let's make a TV. Let's write that TV show. Write that TV show, eh? Uh, so what else? What else? What else? This is what I'm say. American Psycho. You've seen American Psycho? Of course, yeah. Right, yeah. seen it a good few times. Mm-hmm. All right, American Psycho type movie. I've seen a bunch of times, but never in one go. Right? Oh, right. I'm not, I'm bad for lying down to watch a movie and then going, mm, have we sleep? Right. Oh yeah. That's so why I don't go to cinema anymore. Right. Stuck American Psycho one last night. Watched the whole thing. Loved it. Mm-hmm. Christian Bale, phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Right. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know. Right. How long? Spoiler alert for anybody who hasn't seen American Psycho. If you haven't Psycho. seen American Psycho, pause this and move on because yeah. I know he's going to spoil it and it's going to spoil it for you. Right. So, the whole thing is, right, he's, he's American and he's a psycho. <laughs> well, that right. is the greatest synopsis I've ever seen of American and Psycho. He's a bad bastard of a, of a her I've ever seen one. Right. But surely I'm American, Jar. Oh, fucking the one moved to America for a fucking for a pension. So, he kills fucking everybody, right? Mm hmm. And there's obviously the whole, don't look at it, eat it, right? Bites mm-hmm. a woman's fanny off, mm-hmm. uh, chasing a woman about the house with a chainsaw. Now, notice we mistake in it. Right. When he first jumps out of the bedroom with a chainsaw, he's wearing trainers and a pair of boxer shorts. Right. And then later on, he's in the nips. Obviously, Christian didn't want to get the kyok out. No. no but no. when he's doing yoga and white pair of pants, from what I can tell, that's an impressive kyok on you, Batman. Fair play to you. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying is, at the very end of the movie, Christian Bale kills about fucking 20 people in one night, right? Then mm-hmm. he phones his lawyer. And he's like, I killed... 20, maybe 40, I don't know. <laughs> and he's being pure psycho. Like. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, Paul Allen, I killed him in the head with an axe. I cut his head off. <laughs> right. Leaves a message on his lawyer's phone. Yeah. Bumps into his lawyer. Mm-hmm. Right. And he's like, the lawyer's like, here, dude, great joke. Because the lawyer can't remember his name. Because this has been the crux of the movie is, or not the crux, but yes, a yes. theme of the movie is nobody remembers Patrick Bateman's real name. Mm-hmm. Right. 
Also, every time I hear Patrick Bateman, I think of the guy from Arrested Development as Jason Bateman. Wears me out. Yeah. Anyway, so he goes up to his lawyer and he's like, and the lawyer's all, fucking there's Johnny McGibber, McGillen, uh-huh. McGibber, didn't he? And he's all, I'm fucking Patrick Bateman. And he's like, oh, I was really funny last night when you pretended to be Patrick Bateman killed. Like, he's a dork. And he's like, no, I did kill Paul Allen. Mm-hmm. And the lawyer goes, no, you didn't, because I had dinner with Paul Allen in London. 10 days ago mm-hmm. and he walks away all weird and then Patrick Bateman's like laughing like I'm a fucking psycho <laughs> right uh-huh. so what I'm <laughs> I'm trying to get wonder where we're getting this question basically what I'm getting is did that whole movie happen in his fucking head or is the point of that movie nobody remembers him <laughs> it happened in his head uh, Grant that's what I thought that's what I thought I just wanted to double check just wanted to double check he is a psycho even if that was only in your head that's mental just wanted to double check it's all I wanted to it's all I wanted to double check on so do you think all of it happened in his head so like he imagined all like he dre- dreamt it or did he walk up to a homeless guy and rather than shoot him just give him a lock of power and he might get a job or I think it was all this I think it was more about this is what I would like to do gotcha right because I'm a psycho right. uh, no right. listen I, I honestly genuinely haven't seen it maybe in 15 years or so but I, I remember watching it loads of times when it first came out Aye. and I didn't get any other vibe of it other than it was in his head Aye. well listen could be wrong you, know, that, you might have uh, given it a fresh eye on it I will admit it disappointed me when it went as, when it was just like I was all in his head I was like fuck's sake uh, Dallas did that uh, do you know what I mean uh, well JR's back I was dreaming the whole fucking last six episodes it was in that vein of things of Fight Club and all that sort of stuff Aye. it was always that sort of hey it's not, Fight Club isn't the same writer as American Psycho was it no uh, Chuck somebody wrote uh, Fight Club Palinuk or some shit no it's not the same one can't Chuck Berry <laughs> I have American Psycho the book and I can't remember the name. Oh, I, Ellis, somebody, somebody. Brad, Ellis. Brady Snell, yeah. Brady Snell. Because um, I had the book mm-hmm. and uh, started reading it and went this because obviously it's all it's it's written f- not autobiographically. Is it autobiographical? No. What, what would you in the, the first ter- person? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, the source of all my brains. Like it's the fucking like it's the psoriasis me stupid look. Shut up. It can, can, can affect the brain. Uh, anyway, y- the. Oh, now I forget. Fucking hell. I'm never getting weed off you again. <laughs> never blame the weed. What was the... What was I saying? Brady and Ellis. Ellis, you read the book and... Uh, yes, yes. Could, like, about four pages in, I was like, this is this is too much detail for me to keep up with. Because it's so well <laughs> written. It is well written, yeah. But it's like, there's ten pages of Patrick Bateman just talking about a man's suit mm-hmm. in a taxi. And there's a... Uh, yeah, well, they sort of do it in the start of the film and yeah. do the whole bathroom routine in the morning and yeah. it's grooming, but yeah. Uh, he's in some shape he's in some shape boy. he was a fucking fine looking fella uh, I can't listen to studio uh, anymore I, with fucking the Phil Collins if I hear any, if anybody ever goes to me do you like Phil Collins I'm all oh, I need to go home <laughs> if you hear studio playing get the fuck out I, um, I yeah. personally love Phil Collins I think it's a tune it's a studio um, what else Dope Sick you got me into Dope Sick oh my fucking god how, how far things. have you watched the whole thing yet? Uh-huh. Or you... Up to whatever the news one. I, I'm the same because it's, it's annoying that Disney Plus has done that thing where they give oh, two episodes week. the first week and then it's week by week. I didn't so, know that. I thought it was binging the whole thing. I, I, so I'm just caught up oh, to. It's fucking brilliant. Unbelievable. Michael Keaton is fucking super. I, I actually yeah. went down a rabbit hole of watching Michael Keaton do interviews about it. Right. And um, what was he on? Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Kimmel. Right. Okay. Talking about it, and it's the only time, not to make it weird too early in the afternoon, but it's the only time I've heard anybody, uh, he, he brings up Dope Sick and basically goes, you can understand watching Dope Sick why a lot of people are like hesitant about getting vaccinated. Yeah, that is the... Oh, fuck, I was, that was going to be so funny if that had it worked. Yeah, well, that's the button there, remember? Oh, why? <laughs> right, hang on, wind it back. Uh, wait, you can understand, J- Jimmy... Right, <laughs> like he's trying to work. But my hands don't work. Here, do we? But Jimmy was saying what? Jimmy goes here after watching Dope Sick. You can kind of understand why a lot of people are hesitant about getting vaccines. Uh, <laughs> it's worth it. Well Shameless. worth it. Well worth it. Well worth it. Well worth it. Uh, this hot? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. When you're watching it, considering the current climate, uh, not saying against Big Pharma. We love you, Big Pharma. Yeah, fucking. Um, thanks wanna, for the psoriasis meds. They're going to form my children. <laughs> Wanna, if you want to sponsor us, you know, let us know. Yeah. Because we, we I big, need creams. We're, <laughs> we're big fans. Yeah, if you want to sponsor it with psoriasis cream, yeah, yeah it'd be great. Um, but yeah, the, the, what they did and what the, the drug companies did was fucking disgusting. It's, it's crazy how in the... I, I know it's a TV show and it can be embellished and that. Yeah. Thing, but well, I think the way I told you, I don't know, we sort of fact check thing where it's like 80% of the things that happened. Yeah. So I, all I, the actual legal situation. I always look at the, the tinfoil hat and the things and go, right, why are they... F- 
it was it really one company? I, you know, did other companies come out with a version of Oxy? You know, they're bound to have opioid version. Like, you have. know, but again, is this just right? We caught the one company that was doing it. Everybody else, is safe. because that's what it's one thing that's always like, weirded me out know. with. Like, because obviously here we have just like it's you have ibuprofen and you have paracetamol. <laughs> Calpol. right. And even though you have Anadin and you have different brands, but we all still just be like, I brew from Uh Yeah, or somebody says Nurofen, but that's... Right, but very Nurofen, rarely yeah. do you hear people, like, so they're like, oh, switch from Oxycontin to we'll go yeah. fucking Advil or Xanax, or, and it's all branded they're, they're, medicine. Yeah, they're mad. It's crazy. Like, yeah, cause it's, uh, Which will be happening here in the next three years after the NHS falls apart. Well, Xanax is what they give for the anxiety. They give Adderall is taken by usually most kids over 15. Aye. Um, it's basically speed. But it's for exams. Right. So they take it to focus on fucking hell. studying exams. Uh, th- there was a thing when the, the American Navy had to stop drug testing recently, or had to stop doing something because they couldn't find a young person coming through that didn't have Adderall in the system. Shit! Like everybody was thinking because they're still taking it, or because it's still taking it. System well, it's, it's, it became then just as something that got them through their days. Right. Fucking hell! Not, not, as, not as bad as opioids, obviously. Um, what but, was yeah. the one Roseanne Barr took whenever she remember she went in that fucking mad rant? Probably Percocet or Vicodin, one of them two, well, was, or Xanax, or Prozac. No, not Prozac. Keep, keep listening because I'll know it whenever. Because uh, whatever she took, that was her excuse. She was like, "I was taking these things like fucking oh, and sentimental." For it could be anything. I think, to be honest, I think she was just trying to be just funny and current to get caught out. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, but so, no, the dope sick is very. If it's on Disney Plus, if you have it, go and take a look it's at f- it. It's phenomenal. Very, very well. Very it's very well. strange to me. I'm at that sort of level where anything Michael Keaton's in is fucking brilliant. Yeah, he is top left. Because he's class. He's just fucking great. Birdman is fucking amazing. Unreal. But even things like Beetlejuice, we, you for, Michael <laughs> Keaton's so good at Beetlejuice, you forget he's Michael Keaton. Yeah. Do, do you ever see uh, the Dream Team? No. I think it's Michael Keaton's best ever film. He was let loose and just let go, and it was about. Um, it was basically a modern sort of like one flew over a cuckoo's nest type of thing, but it was based in a mental asylum. Uh-huh. And he's the guy that's kind of like the R.P. McMurphy sort of thing, you know, but he's the one that's a wee bit okay, but he's Aye. not. And he has some fucking great scenes in that show. If you get a chance to see it, what do you call your man? Uh, Peter Boyle, the father of Everly, Everybody Loves Raymond. Yeah, he, yeah. He's in it. Um, Christopher Lloyd from Back to the Future is in it. Deadly. They're all like different patients. Have I seen bits of that? You, it's early 90s. It wasn't Aye. long after Beetlejuice. Um, but it's fucking, every time I, I haven't seen it in years, but I, I watched it within about five, six years ago. I remember thinking, fuck me, I forgot how good he right. Comedy wise, like his time and all this yeah. fucking. Because I was watching a clip of, um, it was on 60 Minutes. And it must have been whenever Birdman came out. Mm-hmm. It, yeah, it was actually. So, because obviously there was that point where sort of it looked like Michael Keaton had stopped working. Yeah, that's right. Really yeah, 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 so the whole thing is like he lives on a big fucking ranch in Montana, just loves, just walks his dogs all day and fucking has a great time. Yeah. Um, Money made. Yeah. And there's a point where they're like, um, they go, like, why didn't you do the third Batman? And he just goes, because it fucking sucked. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, the show clips of a movie I'd never even heard of. Clean and Sober is Clean and Sober? Yes, that's right, yeah. Where he's a coke addict. Yeah. And Unreal. it looks fucking great as well. Unreal like, show he's just so good. He's brilliant now. But that, that, that's scary, actually, yeah. And as you say, the current climate with the pharmaceutical companies, it's fucking disgusting what they did and what they got away Because that was the thing where he mentioned, I think it was on uh, Kimmel, Purdue Pharma and the Sackler family is the Sackler, sort of yeah. philanthropy family behind them. Philanthropy. Yeah. Uh, they, at the time, anyways, this maybe back in October, maybe even September, whenever it was coming out in America, the court case was still ongoing and he basically stated that, because Keaton's going like, I can't really talk too much about it because I don't want to get fucking sued. Yeah, it's but okay, what yeah. I can gather from the papers is, and at one point, the Purdue Pharma, because they've got so much money, they were like, we're going to just pay this fine and that's going to clear yeah, us up. Clear but it's not even a drop in the water to the amount of money they made. Oh, man, and some judge went, nah, he's aren't... Maybe. Like, not getting not away, get away with this one. Fucking deadly. Because that's one, have you ever seen Dark Waters with yep. Mark Ruffalo? Ruffalo? yeah. That was one of the things about uh, DuPont, mm-hmm. was that they paid out this settlement that sounds insane. And I remember there's a point where Mark Ruffalo's character is like, that's about 3% of your daily profit. <sighs> Fuck it. Which, like, the stuff you did was insane as well. Like, the amount of fucking chemicals that are still in your body now. And especially now, today, when you think of what's going on and the the FDA and all that, correct? The CDC in America. Like, Dope Sick showed you how easy it was for the FDA to be fucking completely abused and will put a label on 
Like they were given, it literally was heroin in tablet form. Yeah. And, it and is the FDA was like, it's less addictive than other opioids. And you're like, well, no, it's fucking Aye. not, it's an opiate. And you go to the FDA, how do you know? It's like, because it said it in this pamphlet that I read. <laughs> Where do you get your information on the internet? And well, that, again, that's it's back to the thing of what they did, how smart they are. Yeah. You know, the fifth, what was it, the fifth thing of... Uh, Aye, because it's... So the, the fifth element of uh, of medicine and yeah. pain should be number five. Yeah. And, you know. Because that was the um, the the bit that was sort of in the last episode I watched. There's it's when people are starting to try and blow the whistle on it, mm-hmm. and they're able to go anecdotal evidence doesn't count. Yeah, and then you compare that to some of the stuff that's going on today, mm-hmm. and you're like, um, it's quite similar. Hi. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, we'll uh, talk about that and just wrap it on. Oh, right, no, 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 no. But yeah, so don't say go and watch that. Uh, yeah. if you get and Rosario Dawson's fucking, great on it as well. She's fucking brilliant. She's fucking yeah. class. She's unreal. Like she's she's one of those actresses that. Like she's she, she's on. I think she's very underrated. Very underrated. Yeah, she's fucking top class. Clerks too. You see, she always. I, that's what I was gonna say. And clerks too. You like you put her in something like that where she's she's a bit like a naggy kind of. I'm being sensible here. Yeah. You put her in Zombie Land, and it's the same sort of thing. Yeah. And then you stick her in that in a business suit, and you're like, I forgot how hot you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, word! Duh, son. Like Jesus. Oh, Jesus, son. Uh, yeah. Uh, I also watched that over the weekend. Uh, Clark or, or Clerk. There's a, a documentary on Kevin Smith. Oh, really? Overrated, man. I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I would I agree don't know if to it's a just... certain extent, but I am. It was my teenage years, you see. So when Clerks came out in '94, it was sort of like second year, third year. Aye. And everybody had seen Clerks. And then. Uh, don't be wrong. I, the Clerks won. The fact that he made it for fucking a grand or whatever, and yeah, it became one of the biggest selling movies of the year. Yeah. Phenomenal. But, um, and again, it might be an age thing as well. I don't think I'd, I don't think I'd seen Clerks. Until I was in university. Ah, right, okay. And it was right. the kind of situation where the guys I lived with were like, "Man, you haven't seen Clerks, mate. This movie's fucking brilliant." And then I watched it, and I was like, "I don't." Uh, this, no, yeah, it's, it's the same as like whenever you meet an open the... micer who loves Bell Hicks, and then you yeah. watch Bell Hicks, and you go, "I don't get it." They, well, for <laughs> I thought I don't get it, but I just you know what I mean. They they went yeah they hype it too much, see yeah, and then you you built it up to be in yeah. yeah. Instead of giving it the context of this is a first time filmmaker yeah. who did this like on his fucking yeah. budgetly, and there's certain certain. In fact, to be honest, with you, I don't even know if I've seen Clerks one. No, I have, I have. But then I think I might have saw things in the wrong order. So I'd seen Mall Rats and like I think Dogma is phenomenal. Dogma's first. Class. Dogma's fucking yeah. a, a, an amazing movie. Um, but see, James said Bob Strike Back broke in when I was just first starting to take weed. Hi, there you go. <laughs> and that I hadn't taken it. Even when I watched Clerics and Mall Rats and I cracked beforehand, I'd never seen it. But then Aye. that came th- in, and then I was like, well, I think I get into a weird situation where what do you call the guy who plays Jay? Just muse. Yeah, I'm like I can't contact. Of course he can't. He's the fucking. He's just his mate. Aye, oh. but it, I I can't I can't fucking let it go. <laughs> all right. Oh no no everybody. But no, no, the worst thing is whenever you we watch all the documentaries, he's not acting. Aye, he's just himself. That's just him. Aye, that's just the way he goes. I also think it's weird that he's clearly got new money teeth. Like uh, did he get back into the drugs and has fucking lost all his teeth and now he's got dentures and I'm like I can't stop looking at your wrinkly lips. Bad 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 hair Aye. problem. Big oil cock though. Big wine. Big oil donger on him. Big one. Is it, what is it, Jen, or not Jen, Silly Bob, make a porno. Fucking Zach and Mary make a porno. Yeah. Where he gets the lad out mm-hmm. and you're like, fuck me, that like a bit of fucking He's, chorizo. Yeah, uh, I do. I, I felt so sorry for him when I seen him. I seen a photograph of him in the middle of the the drugs again, and oh, I was really? like, oh fuck, is bad. And then I seen the teeth been fixed, and I thought, well, at least he's trying to get himself Aye. sorted, like, but they were bad. Like. Stable got good big nah, drug addict teeth, didn't he? Yeah, I've heroin teeth too. Like, I need to get them sorted. Out. <laughs> it's a it's such a weird thing where like, do you know, because I've I've been trying to quit smoking again, right? Right. Now not doing a great job. No, I was gonna say earlier. I, on, I know. Fag, yeah. That's the situation where it's like you should stop smoking if you've got psoriasis, and I'm like, but also I'm very stressed out because of psoriasis, so <laughs> rather we're rather pick one here, like, circle. yeah. But I do think to myself like I've go a couple of days where I go, well, can I have one fag? I'll be alright. Huh. And I'm that's definitely I'm definitely at the point now with cigarettes where I go, oh do I? I'm addicted to these. Okay. Because that's the bullshit of I don't even really smoke one. I don't even really fucking smoke. But I found myself last night being like, I'll have one more and then I'll go to bed. Is that the same with heroin, do you think? <laughs> you think a heroin Alex like, I can take one wee spoonful before, I think, before I go to bed. I think if you were using if you were thinking of you were using heroin as the analogy, it would be like, I'll take one more packet before I go to bed. Aye. No, but I remember <laughs> thinking, would you would you smoke twenty in a row? Aye. You know, but yeah. I could remember somebody said to me, quitting heroin is easier than quitting smoking. Right, right, that's okay. how deep cigarettes get you. Yeah. And I was like, aye. But that's because when you're quitting heroin, you're allowed to smoke. <laughs> if I if I was like, right, I'm off the fags, boys. <laughs> well, because I think it's because heroin is so physical to your body. Like, your body will actually I, 
Whereas I can see where they're talking about the fags because it's completely psychological. Aye. And it will stay with you forever. Like you speak to any ex-smoker and they'll say, oh, I, I love them. I love the smell of them. Aye. I like standard. You know. Uh, so I, I, I always find the thing whenever I stop smoking for a couple of weeks, I say this all the time, I'll walk past somebody smoking outside like a shopping center and I go, that's fucking stinking and my mouth watering at the same time. <laughs> very, very odd experience. Be like, yeah. oh. <laughs> you get all the Homer Simpson. <laughs> Can I smell your fingers? That's true. You've told that story before, haven't you? Uh. <laughs> have I told it on here? I have. Yeah, I've told it. I've, Remember we met the mother of the daughter? Oh, no, no. <laughs> have, I, have I not told you about where... I, fuck, I didn't tell you the, the sort of original bit of that story. I don't know. Did you? So, when I was on tour with Paddy Keely and his lovely wife was there? Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I have to. Okay, yeah. fine. Well, that's all my stories anyway. This has been fun. <laughs> We're away to apply some cream I, on my I was going to go home no. and pick my feet. <laughs> Although, if I, could, if I could pick any feet, it'd be somebody else's. <laughs> Huh? Eh? Huh? Hasn't lost it. That's it. Laughing in the face of adversity. Uh. Gallo humour, they call it. Because I'm going to go home and hang myself with spaghetti. <laughs> Where's strong spaghetti, boys? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yes, uh, I don't know. I, I don't even know how long we've been on here, but I know we uh, we were going to do a bonus episode for questions, so we'll leave the questions to I, I, I should tell you, I'm give you up to, I bumped into my, and he's a long term listener, so I'm not going to use a name, uh-huh, uh-huh. but I bumped into my old form teacher in the right, pub. Okay. On, um, Your form teacher Saturday. listens to this? Yeah, so <laughs> my form teacher's a hip hopping guy, so. Fucking he is on the ball. I don't want to give away too much. My form teacher, basically, my form teacher um, is married to the woman who used to manage the next that I worked in. Okay. So and so he knows where all yeah, the bodies are buried. Very, very, really class teacher, right? Okay. Genuinely, uh, also taught French. Can't remember any of it. Sorry about that, Monsieur. Uh, Fantastic teacher. But bumped into him, just drunk enough to be like, oh, I wish I hadn't bumped into him, because <laughs> I was like, Sir, <laughs> <laughs> what pure, about you, pure castle there? Bring it in, the hey, sir, lab. sir. Fucking put my hand over him when I get, uh. sir, sir, do you want a pint, <laughs> sir, sir. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the toilet now. <laughs> Every time uh, we for a pissy, give me a wee pass. We'll be back in a wee minute. Uh, uh, the time I caught my uh, English teacher was at the, on the comedy clubs in Bogans in the front row, uh-huh. and he was talking. Oh my god, I had such a fucking. Like, Man. You stay behind afterwards. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> it's like, it's fucking I, had, I had a weird thing where, uh, so obviously, it's been how long have I left school? We're talking fucking 15, 16 years, years. Oh, 15, 16. What's 18 take away 34? 34 take away 18? 16. 16. I was fucking bang on, right, sir? In your face. My well, last teacher was great. Too. First year, was um, but it was a really nice experience to be sitting in a pub with your form teacher and he was slabbering about the people in your class. Because <laughs> you know they do. Like, I, oh, I, he was like, what do you call that like, fucking bitch? And I was like, I bucked her. <laughs> <laughs> and then a weird point whenever I started telling him things we got up to his students and he was disgusted. <laughs> <laughs> like, did they, we used to have a thing where nobody did the maths homework. Right. And we all copied one guy's maths homework in the morning, right? So he would do his maths homework and we'd all pass his book around. And we got caught because he fucked it up one day and we all had the exact same, like, everybody, got it everybody wrong. fucked it up. And uh, He did that in badness, didn't oh, he? Oh, he must have done because it was probably annoying him. And I, the other words, I would always try and leave my book at like, pretend I forgot my book or leave my book at home or whatever. Mm-hmm. And there was one day I was like, sorry, I forgot my book again. I'm so sorry, I forgot my book. And the teacher was like, what fuck up And didn't believe that I'd forgotten my book. So he came over to me and emptied my school bag out, right? Looking for it, and then the guy sitting next to me he was like, you, You've given him your book! And he emptied his school bag, and I ended up four of us. He emptied four school bags out, but I had tucked the book down the front of my, my trousers. So when he was emptying one lad's book, I just left him a jumper and showed him. <laughs> Told him to teach you that one, and he was like, Piece of shit, my guy. <laughs> We're, it's not better we're all proud of you back at the yeah. school. <laughs> it's like, we're we, going to get you to cut the ribbon when they open the new building, and you're telling me you didn't even work? I'm like, float the bus. <laughs> well, I will definitely not be invited back to my school for ever giving a talk. Or I don't like, think I've went through, like, my school has went through some list of fucking nobodies. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. The boy who fucking wrote Happy Birthday. There was. <laughs> Teddy Bear's back next. The Teddy Bear's back. The boy who Hope wrote Silent <laughs> Night. Uh, <laughs> Of course, there was that verse of the gospel, Al Mark. Remember him? <laughs> he wrote that. No thanks for it. <laughs> Sam Neil. God forgive me. Fucking only my only old man with American accent. Don't blaspheme. And I can't even do a northern accent. You ever see him here? Peaky he, blinders. No. Sorry. Right, like Bit of a historical that. reference. He that is bang on how somebody from Northern Ireland would speak in the 1920s. Nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. That's a, there's I read up. I read a thing about that. Okay. If you go back a hundred years and try to talk to somebody from Oma now, they wouldn't understand a word you're fucking saying. 
And he, he nailed okay, that kind of Carson. Right. Yeah. I have it a just, weird thing. I just, sometimes just think, about it. Right. But I sometimes, it's weird for me. Like, I saw a video that someone complaining about um, actors doing bad Scottish accents. Mm-hmm. And Mel Gibson and Braveheart were like, that's a terrible accent. And I listen to that and go, that's fucking brilliant. Considering he's Australian with an American accent. I always thought it was, I, again, I, I know what you're talking about. The people that slag it off. And no. I was like, oh, fuck, I thought it was bang on. Because I, I, I can't, as you know very well, and everybody listening knows, I can't do accents no. at all. But the hardest accent in the world is a Scottish accent. Yeah. I, I'm grand if I'm singing the Proclaimers. Aye, yeah, you could do that kind of like... Or singing Jerry Cinnamon, I can fucking, I can add and Aye, roll, she is a belt I, I can roll my R's and fucking do yeah. all that. Was he trying to talk in that? No, no not happening. I don't you, like have a very good, you, have, you have a good one, but it's more like a a quite feminine call centre kind of Scottish accent that you do. M- Mrs. Doubtfire, basically. But, yeah. yeah, sort of. It's I can do comedy versions of accents, which is the... the, the Extreme caricature versions of them, like, versions yeah, of them. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, I couldn't really. I, I, I did once f- convince my dad I was English on the toilet. <laughs> he said it was the way I sucked it. <laughs> 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 he says I looked down and you had your pinky up, and I thought that's an Englishman sucking my dick. Uh, no, we were we were at a <laughs> we were at a christening over in England, uh-huh. and full of wind up merchants. So everybody was just trying to, oh, man. and it was the kind of thing where if you caught somebody out, mm-hmm. you were. King for the next hour. Oh yeah. So if, you know, like that one, oh, and then right, or if you owe something back your shoe, what? Well, oh, right. So everybody, you couldn't fucking relax the whole time, right? <laughs> I was like, we're standing. I was pissed at seventeen years of age. I mean, like I was eighteen years of age, mm-hmm, but blocked. Um, on a, th- I'll go further. I was on a fucking army base, <laughs> right? <laughs> Me and my dad's at a christen in an army base in England. Like, don't tell anybody we're Paddy and Mick, right? <laughs> Being full blown, like you're George, I'm Jeffrey. We're gonna say Uh Two of us in Celtic tops, just to, <laughs> just to confuse them. But my dad went for a piss, and I'd seen him go to the bathroom. And I was like, excuse me, gentlemen, thank you for your service. <laughs> and I got in the cubicle, and I went, you are Paddy? And my dad was like, all right, mate. And I was like, I've got him. I fucking got him. And I was like, yeah, fucking nice day, ain't it? And my dad was like, oh, lovely, mate, great day, great. Oh, you yeah, have a good day. You come from Northern Ireland, then, yeah? You still living over there? And he's like, who is that fucking, he's not talking to me. How do you know so much? And I stuck my head in the cube. Like, it's fucking me, mate. <laughs> and he was like, "Yeah, we bastard, fuck it. king for a day." Um, Mighty. So that's the only time I've convinced anybody. But right. like, I've tried to phone people with fake accents. And they're like, "Mac." Oh, right. <laughs> right no. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, maybe that's a challenge. Maybe to be. But then there's another thing too. I, I no. I watched Mister and Mrs. Smith the other night. Right, with my good lady. Right. Brad Pitt and Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. Okay. And I enjoyed it that much. I've now forgiven Brad Pitt the devil's own. I've forgiven for it. It's not his fault. I've, I've completely forgiven him. Is this a different Mr. and Mrs. Smith, or is that the... It's, oh, it's a pile of shite, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Good. I don't good, know if it was just good. the mood it was in at the time, or the fact that Angie and Jolie's running about shooting guns, and that just makes me that, hard inside my, in my willy. That would do it. And then Brad running around too now. Brad looks great, too. Like, fuck, he looks great. That him in a fucking talk, like. See the hairline, too, with a shaved head? You're like, how do you get away with that? What a ride. It's his jaw when he's eating too. Like, how's the back of his jaw coming oh, at the front of his jaw? Oh, Fucking hell, he'd yogurt off his back. And Robert, then put yogurt on his back. Robert, <laughs> Robert Redford's uh, clone. Oh, is that the... That's the, yeah. He right. looks not like him. <laughs> not, not a fucking drop like not him. Fucking hell. He just happens to have fair hair. <laughs> and, is, and is good looking. Right. Um, yeah, but uh, that, that's, like, that's a 15-year-old film. That's mm-hmm. a fuck, that was, it's not great, like... It was not the film that they, that he... Left Jennifer Aniston yeah. for. But what's weird is Vince Vaughn's in it, and Vince Vaughn ended End up, up with, with Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer Aniston after uh-huh. that. Which is, imagine, imagine being Vince Vaughn about to buck Jennifer Aniston thinking the last dick she saw was Brad Pitt's. Although, word on the street, terrible wee willy. Vaughn would be a bit of a beast now. I dare say Vaughn's got a fucking donger on him. Uh, I think Vince Vaughn's got a dick like a mic. My uncle. Black and fluffy. <laughs> my uncle met him in. <laughs> Just from rubbing along the car, uh, yeah. <laughs> picking up fucking dust bunnies. <laughs> Don't need a Hoover. You pull, you pull Vince Vaughn's dick out. You think it's an early Michael Jackson? <laughs> <laughs> Beat it. <laughs> Don't stop till you get enough. <laughs> uh, my uncle met Vince Vaughn in a, in a nightclub in Chicago one time, uh-huh. and he was telling me he says like. Six foot seven. Like oh, fucking a big unit, like I. Big, big fucker. He's just, it's not until he walks past you, you're going, holy fuck. Aye. Apparently, mad contest. Like, a, I remember I reading things about you. how he's one of those, like, don't even fucking look at me. Right? Okay. 
he's 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 back again at the moment uh, in Curb Your Enthusiasm. So right. he has a recurring role there, uh, every, and he's fucking brilliant because it's all improvised, and you know he's Aye. gonna be fucking brilliant improvising. Like it's, it's. Uh, he's one of those guys where you go, listen, the thing you're good at doing, you're very good at doing. Yeah. Stop trying to do anything else. Yeah. Because if you, you watch him, the, the, oh, Jesus Christ! I, I, right? I remember the Psycho remake coming out, and I remember not watching it mm-hmm. at the time. Was it Gus Van Sant? No, it was Vince Vaughn. We're talking about you. <laughs> Did Gus Van Sant direct it? I have no idea. I think because there was something about the fact that. He literally took, if you watch Psycho the original and right. Psycho the remake, it's a shot, shot for shot. shot. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was going to say, because I thought it was like a, a I didn't realise they just remade it in colour. Yeah, literally shot so like, like every yeah. frame, so when, every when the guy does was... that thing going down the stairs, Aye. that it's happened a... in 2004, you're like, what, this is dog shit? Dog shit. And Psych, like, Psycho was another great movie where, I remember the first time I'd seen it the whole way through, that scene at the end, where it's the mother's voice, mm-hmm. I'm not even going to swat that fly. <laughs> and I'm like, huh! Do you like, do you when you're, like you're trying to find the remote, you don't want to touch the floor? Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off! But I watched the movie last week. scenario there. Yeah. <laughs> but I watched Vince Vaughn and Mel Gibson were in a, uh, Dragged Over Concrete, it's called. So right. it's a cop movie. So basically, they're like, they both get filmed, um, being a bit rough with a, with a suspect. Mm-hmm. Because the guy's of an ethnic minority, it goes all over the internet and they both get suspended. And Mel Gibson's like an older cop, but he's basically going, right, my wife's sick. We're living in a shit neighborhood. I'm going to rob drug dealers. To... So the whole thing is like, it's, it's, a, um, it's supposed to be sort of a dark comedy, but it's, there's, it, it's not funny enough right. when to be a dark it, when comedy. When did it come out? Recently? 2019, maybe something like oh, that. Maybe, maybe a bit, no, maybe a bit, uh, maybe 2015. So Vaughn is on team, so Va- Vaughn on team Mel Gibson? Gibson. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, but it's like it's the kind of thing where because Vince Vaughn's rants like do like the, the fucking old school like earmuffs. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna have their greatest time. Fast like, again, yeah, yeah, all that. That's that's what his fucking. That's what you do best. That's a shtick. Yeah, it's yeah. great. And to watch him in a movie where he's not doing that, it's you're like. Because ah. ah, wasn't he in True him. Detective as well? Wasn't he in the s- second, second season of True Detective, which bombed? I heard it was terrible. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I never watched that XX second one actually. I've never seen. I just keep I'm thinking of him now in Curb. I'm thinking that ah, he's he, he that that whole speed yeah, is back. He's great. Like, fucking he's fantastic. Like, he's he's aged an awful lot. That's because he's partied like fuck. And plus, he's what is he fifty something? Oh, he would be. Yeah. You're allowed to age. We just forget. I think that's the thing as well. No, I think like, it's because we we constantly see so many get work done. Aye, it's when you see somebody who hasn't got work done, you're going, oh fuck, that's what every should look like. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Because who else is there that I've who did I see recently? Like, the, the amount of times I think when you see Sure in an interview and people go, you look great. Madonna. It's just like, <laughs> like Have you seen Madonna? What's your secret? Ah, oh, yoga. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen her? No. Madonna, it's just, she's like a fucking alien. The skin's so tight. Uh, the you think that's fixed that gap in her teeth? Like, <laughs> the only reason you can tell it's you, Madonna, is because you've got a fucking goalpost in your mouth. <laughs> Beautiful stranger. <laughs> Fuck up, Madonna. Yeah, I, I do think there's that situation where, like, and again, it's it's sad too. Where a, a lot of Hollywood stars, like the the men, age better. So yeah. Robert Redford, for example, or Harrison Ford, you're still like fucking right. They're, yeah, absolutely right. And I think that's a isn't that a general thing? I know a lot of women I would know complain about that about men in general get better looking when they're older I, and women get worse. And I'm like, yes, I know. It's because we bigger jaws. When the skin <laughs> sags off a big jaw, it doesn't look as bad. But when a woman's got a wee tiny chin, a lovely petite neck, and then gets an old gut, fucking turkey neck, and you d- go, well, that's fucking... Daddy's down there. You look at necks the way people look at my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Can I pick that? Uh, I do feel sorry for in that sense because it, isn't, it, isn't it the worst fucking irony that the one species or one sex that doesn't give a fuck how they look is the one that ages better. Aye. <laughs> no one well, that cares so much is the one there, that ages There's to be something in the amount of shit women put in their faces to stop the aging process is bound to fuck you up. Like, I've always wondered that. Like, if you have a daily routine of makeup and it's constantly on your skin Aye. all the time, like for 30 years or 40 years, it must do something. Aye. It has to. Like, As well as that, like, I don't know if you've seen that there's a thing on TikTok, there's a woman who has literally no teeth but big old fucking porn star titties. Right. And looks awful. Does a full face of makeup, and you're like, I wouldn't get off that until the cows came home. I, I think I've seen. Sorry, that sounds really misogynist, but terrible. you wouldn't. I don't know if, uh, if it's the same girl with the big. But I seen a girl who literally looked like a crackhead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's her. Really, yeah. like no teeth, no nothing, and then the, the transformation. I was like, that has to be CGI. Yeah. There's no way. The amount that. of uh, uh, yeah, I think that's it's the thing too. Whenever women are like, I just wish men would be themselves, and you're like, look at the shit you do. <laughs> 
before you go out. But do you not find sometimes? I remember. I remember this is so. I remember one time getting with a girl. I was in my very early twenties. Uh-huh. Situation where a very attractive girl. Yeah. Out of all these guys at a party, I was the only. I basically went. There's no way I could ever pull that woman, so I'm not even gonna try. So everybody else was like, "Fucking, do you want a drink? Do you want to be fucking?" I got talking to her because I was the only one trying not to write her, and she then decided I'm gonna write this one because he's not. He's not. He's not right. And we're doing a bit of curtain and stuff, and we're getting into bed. She was like, I'm just going to go get ready for bed. And I am not joking. This woman walked into a bathroom like a fucking supermodel and came out like somebody beat her up. Eyelashes came off, fingernails came off, makeup, tan, a tooth. <laughs> not a good idea. Took a tooth out. And then was like, do you want a book? And I was like, nah. Take Abs- a abso- out, tell me what's wrong. <laughs> The one and only time in my life I turned the ride down. <laughs> no, thank you. Ah, oh, wouldn't bother me at all. I'd put my denture in beside hers and just <laughs> walk away. <laughs> Gets them all confused next morning. I'll just I'll show you. I'll put the wrong teeth in. <laughs> where, where, are my, where are my woman's teeth? <laughs> Take your teeth out. <laughs> love it. Uh, um, so where were we? I women don't wear as much makeup. We still love you. But um, I, I, I sometimes I envy them in the sense because. They have the ability to be a different person. Yeah, to transform. So they have the ability to, like, complete... And then, it, and I know myself from my wife and all that, it obviously makes her feel better and she feels more confident. Aye, my, my, my sort of good lady's the same. Like. But at the same time, I'm going, but that's a joy. Like, you, like there's nothing I can do. Aye. I have to, I'm stuck with this. And if I went out, okay, yes, you could do, of course, in this modern world, you could go out and put makeup on if you want, blah, blah, blah. But in normal scenario, it's like yeah. When I'm in her own, I'm not going to be going. I, fucking when I on. stick a suit on, you don't go. Aye. I'm just wearing a suit. Yes. Do you, whereas, like, if a woman well, puts on like a fucking cocktail dress, dress the foot, yeah. you're like, wow, like the hair, the curls, the extensions. Aye, she comes down the stairs, and your head's all there. She goes. Do you know what I mean? Like, do you know whatever your your woman gets your woman starts on when your 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 lady, your wife. I hate that like, shit. You know, I hate somebody says going, oh, your woman. And I'm like, yeah, she is my woman. Yeah, and fucking I right. fucking dare you to go and tell her that I'm not her man. Fucking, I fucking double dare you. R E S P E C T. I swear to fuck. I love that. Fuck. She I, would fucking. I'm swearing. We. <laughs> it's like that time you're gonna beat that fella up. That's all. Amer will take turns on him. Christ the night. Honestly, but, you know what I mean? That's the thing about my woman. I'm fucking right. 20 odd years. I'm allowed to say, and she I agree. Exactly yeah. the same Our thing. women, right? Say yes. whenever your woman gets dolled up mm-hmm. and you go, oh, there's my woman there, right? Exactly. And then the, the, the whole way out to the front door when you go, she's like, what did you get at me? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you going for? You fucking good cunty. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you. <laughs> there's nothing better. There's locking, nothing. Locking the front door. Going, oh, fuck. Right. I lost my keys. Do you ever have that situation where you like, but your woman gets dolled up and you have that wee moment where you look at her and you're like, wow. Mm. And then she immediately sees your face and goes, don't touch me. <laughs> you're going to ruin it. And you're like, I can't wait around. That's just a Tuesday. Right. Oh, my. I can't wait to fucking get home here tonight and have the shroud of ready your makeup in my belly. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Talking about sucking dicks. <laughs> she goes home with <laughs> the foundation was like, we 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 puke, <laughs> Yeah. Can I want to see when we get home. I'm going to make a roar shake in them bed sheets. I'm going to dunk your face in that there. Yeah. Fucking raw. But your mouth goes, you look lovely, pet. <laughs> your brain's like. <laughs> <laughs> Release uh, me. <laughs> aren't we very lucky we have a woman? I know. Thank fuck. Uh, I know. To, my to poor doll. Call my woman. I know. My poor doll hoovering me off her chest. <laughs> <laughs> fuck sake, you're everywhere. That's one of the good things when you can come around. I can take a wee bit of me home with you. Everywhere you go, always take Mickey with you. I've got you <laughs> under my skin. <laughs> so deep in my hole that you're nearly a part of me. That, I, I, now I want to tell you about my nephew. Like, uh, because I got weird. But my sister brought my wee nephew under the flat the other day. Mm-hmm. And they were leaving. She's like, right, give everybody high fives. And he's like, handing out high fives. And he h- gave me a high five and went, oh, so hand. <laughs> but then he was like, <laughs> like wiping shit off. No, bitch just fell off. Sorry. I don't know where that came from. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Pity for an next nipple. <laughs> but I do good at it. What makes a good difference, nipple? <laughs> would you, uh, exactly, would you, would you actually want anybody to cure you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I'd like to make, I'd like to be able to pick a kettle up without worrying about it. Do you know what I mean? I'd like I'd love to be able to open a door without lo- looking like a fucking surgeon. I'd love a wank. I'd love to eat a sandwich safe in the knowledge that I'm not going to eat a bit of me. I'd love to put my hand <laughs> in a packet of crisps again without thinking, one, the salt hurts, and two, I'm not sure that's a crisp. <laughs> I would <laughs> fucking no, love it. Maybe that's not salt. <laughs> I would love it. I would love to take my sock off and shit not hit the floor and then pigeons jump on it <laughs> thinking, oh, somebody's fucking bread out the window. I would adore it. <laughs> I'd love to just not leave an outline everywhere I went. <laughs> Swear to God. To be chalk out. I, sw- I swear to fuck. <laughs> oh fuck! I, I guarantee if I moved quick, it'd be like a cartoon. There'd be <laughs> like a full shape of skin and fall a few seconds later. <laughs> I'm fucking telling you. <laughs> I'd love to get in the bath and not get out of it and think, did I put rose petals in them? <laughs> oh. oh fuck! Many things I'd love to do. I'd love to type again. <laughs> Love to be able to hold a pen. I'd love to be able to cut a stick. I'd love to be able to cook a stick. You'd love not to have auto answer on your phone. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I'd love to eat an apple without holding it in a tissue. <laughs> Do you know what? When you say when you start listening out those things, it's only until you hear them you're thinking. Fuck the amount of things you need to do. Oh, man, in a day it's, it's so annoying. That are just basic things yeah. that you, you don't. Like. You, you literally, I can't wash myself properly when it's really bad. You can't shower because the shower gel stings it. And then your skin's so sensitive. I think I said last week, my beard feels like needles. Yeah. So you can't wash your face. So that my face is all dry at the minute because you can't scrub it. You can't fucking... You just can't clean yourself properly. I have a bit of moisturizer here I can put over your face. I'll That's take anything. I swear to fuck. <laughs> anything at all. It's a bit salty, but I'll do it. Here, I don't give a fuck. Apparently it's good for you. Plenty of vitamin D. Vitamin D. Uh, oh, Lord. Yeah. So, I had a pee sitting down. <laughs> just because of the weight of it. So the answer is yes. What was the question again? Would you like to be cured? Yes. <laughs> yes. If you have a cure for psoriasis, and I don't, in fact, a few, few people have contacted me with the old phone, there's a boy here, lives knocking a cloy. <laughs> don't say anything, he'll talk to you. Uh-huh. You'll be better in the morning. It's like uh, my wife's dad has the cure for thrush. Yep. Does he? Yep. <laughs> what is it? What, what is it? Do you like it at? <laughs> what is the cure for thrush? What is it? Like he just goes, oh, she's asking you now. He has a cure for thrush. So when you have thrush, you go to him three days in a row and he cures you. Now, the skeptic in me uh-huh. would say that's because after three days, the medicine <laughs> starts cures working, up, I, the medicine starts yeah. to kick in. But no, no, it's because he's got... I have the cure for cold sores. Right. It gets a cow's ass. <laughs> it doesn't actually cure the cold sore, but it stops you licking it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there you are, folks. That's a joke from the 1960s. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he has the thrush because apparently a, uh, a cure is given to orphans. Like, I wonder whether you're... Uh, or I, I, then it's passed on. H- handed down from orphan to orphan? He hasn't handed down nobody. Aye. Says me, the artful dodger. <laughs> he, uh, yeah, so he was, a, he was an orphan, so he has a cure for thrush. So he would have been... How fucking freaky is this? So he's been he's doing this for all of his life, uh-huh. the years. So when I was less than one... I got thrush, allegedly, Uh and I had to go to him. So me and my wife both were less than one year old, sitting beside each other in the living room. Fucking hell. (laughs) Back in the day. And then we uh, get married then. How weird is that? That is weird. Did you you show her down the nappy? Oh, my God. Let's take a look at that. There we thrush her. Why is it brown? Sorry, wrong end. (laughs) (laughs) My my granddad was an orphan as well. All right. Yeah, and he got given the uh, cure for heart disease. But forgot to use it on him. Because <laughs> of the dementia. <laughs> I'm telling you, my granny died. My granny died in 1998 of COVID. One. <laughs> Welcome back, Mr. Bernard. <laughs> we missed you. Do you know think COVID's getting a wee bit now? That's what I call music. <laughs> That's the, oh. It should be, no, that's what I call lockdown. That's what this is changing to. Like. <laughs> <laughs> it's just TikTok songs. <laughs> <gasps> what? Did you see Jerry Adams on TikTok again? I don't do TikTok. What do I do? What do I do? I'm now convinced, right, that Jerry Adams is still in the RA and he's still killing people. 
but it's he's convinced them to take their own lives. Because <laughs> <laughs> this thing was so fucking awkward. I was like, give me a pint of milk and a loaf, quick. <laughs> <laughs> fucking get trees and made it run me through a field of wheat here. I'm I'm going. That's it. It's uh, what oh, what the fuck does he do? It's basically somebody going. Uh, as Jerry Allen's going, knock, knock. She goes, who's there? And he goes, oh. And she goes, oh, who? And he goes, oh, Rose Jedava. How are you? Oh, Rose Jedava. And, but he's, it's like, why are you trying to be a nice way old man? It's all you real. You disappearing cunt. <laughs> like, I have done. Alive, alive. Oh, sorry, it's cockles and muscles. Yeah. Well, I, I, I used to do material on that going, I think it's all smoke and mirrors. Mm. And I think the man has been mental for years. We just didn't know. Aye. It was the media told us it was a certain way. But when you actually were speaking to him, because... Some of his tweets, like, are fucking <laughs> mental. It's, I, I just, I cannot believe that Shin and Fein are letting it happen. Yeah. It's, it's, this country's too small for people to, you, I, you might be able to be fucking, like, Bill Clinton, get a suck job, and then be all here, the wife didn't do anything wrong, and it's like, oh, she's grand, like, but this place is far too fucking small to yeah. be like, no, he didn't, go ahead, give us a tune. <laughs> Alive, alive, oh home, alive, alive, oh home. Talk on, on, and then at the very end he goes boom, boom. I didn't I swear to fuck. He goes fuck boom, off. boom at the end of it. Yeah, we're living in a fucking simulation. I swear know. to God, I I watched that right after I watched the Spider Man multiverse trailer, and I went, I think it's happened. <laughs> I think there's a universe where Jerry Adams is fucking Mister Rogers. Do you know what I mean? He's a fucking, he's an like, English teacher. <laughs> yeah, no, he's a, he's a children's TV host. Like, so when the door knocks, you don't shit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on in. There, there's, there's a fun telling you there's a world where he was like, <laughs> Jerry's final thought. <laughs> As always, love each other, Makara. <laughs> what, what was the bit you do with the. What's the good night? Oh, E Hawaii, when he was tweeting Night Night in Irish. E Hawaii. I, I swear to fuck, it, I, can, I cannot. It's. It's like, do you know the way OJ Simpson's trying to be sound in their ways? Like, right. get back in jail. Fuck up. Right? Yeah. Get off of social media. Like, I seen a fucking TikTok of him, like, some young blonde girl's like, hey, we're out with OJ. And he's like, hey, are you doing, baby? And she's like, get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> like, <laughs> but he, I don't, it's, it's, I don't know, it baffles me. It absolutely fucking baffles me. Like. <laughs> well, at least you're baffled in our new studio. Yeah. <laughs> so the thing about it is, at least the DUP <laughs> don't let fucking Ian Paisley walk past the Thomas Cook. That is the right? thing. They don't let him near a travel agent. So why are they getting Jerry Adam fucking singing songs? <laughs> are you as met? I'm voting DUP next time. They're, they're, I swear to God, that, that is... The not that I ever voted Sinn Féin, sorry I should say that. Uh, but <laughs> The Duppers are very good at uh, keeping everything on the lowdown. Yeah. Shinners, not so much. Aye. <laughs> don't, as you say, like, who's letting that happen? It's, it's bananas. Who, I don't, and who is working on their social media marketing team uh -huh. who's like, I have an idea. Listen. We're looking at the polls. But sure, look at what And they're here. not voting for us. So, look what, <laughs> what it is. Look what happened here. With Barry McAdoff for the fucking Fuck Kingsmill. There you that go. That was another. Who decided Th that? There you go. That's fucking bananas. Mental. I think there's somebody in Sinn Féin. I, they're, they're bound <laughs> who's employed by Impractical Jokers. I know. There's, <laughs> the there's, some guy, there's some guy in the Sinn Féin marketing office who's doing this. I have an idea. <laughs> Woo! Right. <laughs> Picture this. <laughs> What do people like about Ireland? They like Siggin and they like Tweed. We get Jerry, we put him in a jumper, right? The cookbook didn't work. Not our fault. But listen, shh, 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 shh. What? Michelle, fuck up. I, I would like to fuck with Chad a wee moment here about COVID. Fuck up, we second. Jerry, what are we doing? Right. Woo, woo. Right. Right. Jerry, what's your favourite song? Happy birthday? No, we're not doing that one. Right. <laughs> like, Billy Jean, can't use her name, remember the last time? Right. <laughs> like, it's fucking insane. Uh, that uh, that bit literally is what is the only explanation as to what it's, the fuck it has is going on be. because it doesn't make any sense at all. There's somebody there. I don't know what the Irish for ketamine is. <laughs> There's somebody there who's fucking full of unket. <laughs> unket dog us on coke. <laughs> and they're fucking snorting away at it. I mean, like, Jerry, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make you... But I wonder, I wonder is it the other right. way around? This is the final chapter in your life, Jerry. A lot of people you know didn't get the final chapter, right? They were took out during the prologue. But anyway, <laughs> we're going to get the final chapter of your life. Think Michael Parkinson, <laughs> right? <laughs> we're going to make you Ireland's Cliff Richard. I'm thinking calendars. I'm thinking Christmas songs. 
Right. I'm thinking fucking personalized birthday cards where you open it and your voice comes out. People shit themselves, but they'll get over it. Happy Sat birthday. Nav. Snape tight. Sat nav directions. Sat nav. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you where to reroute. Uh, yeah. But if, if you're in the north, it just doesn't come up. You have to drive into Monon to get it to work. And every couple of seconds, if it is the north, it's just a forest. Every couple of feet, he tells you where somebody's buried. <laughs> and they're uh, coming up around right about now in the Monon. I've never been here. <laughs> Oh, I, <laughs> sorry, Jerry. Uh, I won't joke, Jerry. Love, like. love the tunes. Uh, keep it up. Give us a signed album. Fucking right. <laughs> <You>. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh, that's like cool. a Chucky that's... Des O'Connor. <laughs> <laughs> I got Chucky Des O'Connor. I guarantee it's going to happen. TG Carr's going to have fucking late night with Jerry. Oh, if, <laughs> if Jerry does stars in the race, he comes out and does a monologue at the start and all. <laughs> August on Kenwell, uh, JMR Tattoo. I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> the end, he sings a swing song. He did that. Oh, the shark, babe, has such teeth there. And he shows them pearly white. Justin Jackney has those capitachi. <laughs> Our revenge will be on laughter of children. <laughs> oh, Jerry, back in time. <laughs> I can't even do the impression of him. Oh, fuck. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's fucking time. We're going to jump up now and do a load of questions. Yes, uh, we're going to do a bonus Patreon one because uh, for a couple of days, we right? don't do ads. Uh, we exactly, don't we don't have time for ads. We're all uh, we're all paid up by you guys, the patrons, and for all those who are listening for free, fair play, to you. you're dead on your sound, but you're missing out on the visual jokes. Like, I mean, you're missing so much. I mean, new studio and everything, looking fucking shit hot. Yeah, and and me like, roaring I mean, red that, in the hand, you know like I mean? it's a sort of god. Uh, I'm going to take a few photographs now for uh, Mickey to go in the front of a few troker boxes. Yeah, and then, I'm gonna, uh, gonna, uh, hopefully this is the before photo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do feel like, you know, uh, especially these wee mitts, I'm like, you know, the boy whose skin fell off, and I said this last week. Oh, I'm in a glider. <laughs> Oh, I'm upside down. I'm going to try and pump that nurse. <laughs> My cock fell up. <laughs> oh, fuck. Also, we should mention Waterfront Hall, uh, December 2022. Yes, come on. So tickets are already fucking flying out for that. So yes, the show not written on, yeah? Of course, have I? Uh, again, one of those situations, they're going, what do you want to call the show? And I'm like, I say, what do you want to call the baby when you've wanked into your own hand? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so... <laughs> Waterfront is already on sale. The tour should be uh, on sale at some point this week. Mm-hmm. Um, so hopefully by the time you're listening to this, t- tour tickets will be on sale. And uh, I, I'm in the Hatfield on Friday night. If anybody wants to come down, I'm going Agony are in two weeks' time. Agony are in two weeks. Sold, Sold out. out. Yeah. So we're just letting you know. Nah, 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 nah. We have. Uh, I'm doing a wee sort of a ten year anniversary night in Dailies, just to fuck, basically just an excuse for Christmas night. Uh, on the 27th of December, tickets went on sale last night, so rightly sold already. So happy days, happy days. Available for a wee comedy night. Oh, a wee bit, of, and a bit, of, a bit of chat and a bit of banter and all, you know, and just uh, having the a bit of the crack and all that, Karen. So uh, thanks so much for listening. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks for all your patronage. Yes. Uh, thank you to Connor Keys. Thank you very much. For, and uh, this is actually our patrons that we lost. We, we lose patrons every month, but they always sort of come back. Somehow. Yeah. Because well, first they thought they were out, <laughs> and then they pulled me we'll back. We'll always in. get you back in, but yeah, I think people leave our podcast like they're talking shit, and there's a new variant. And they go, "I think they're on or something." <laughs> that could be something. Yeah. yeah. So peace out, much love. Jerry's final thought: I didn't do it. <clears throat> bye bye. What's up, motherfuckers?